Alright, let's have a look at some of this other stuff though. The Almanac. Alright, and have a look at different buildings, our treasury, just a basic overview here. We've got dynasty members. Okay, so a dynasty, we can create our own dynasty with the Swiss account here as well that we can check up on. That's something different, we can actually check up on um, how much money we've made in our Swiss bank account, quite simply. Um, Alright, do we want to do anything for our people here? Right to arms. In okay. We're not far enough in the game for liberty and all. So there's World Wars, the Cold War, and then the Modern Era. So those are the four eras. Got a constitution. Okay, we've got to research it though. Trade. Okay. All oh, right, there's also pirates in the game, I'm pretty sure. Okie dokes. And then more overlays and all. All right. The real question for me is how do we find... Here we go. Did a bit of that fog leave or not? I really got to figure out how we uh, explore, but the game is recommending me to build a tavern. I think I'll place it. Let's see. What would be the best place? Probably right over here, actually. I'll build that. It'd be a bit of money, but it's all right with me. We've got two citizens that have left. What I'd like to check though is how much unemployed we've got. 15. So that means I should be able to build another sugar cash crop. Right here. That's perfect spacing. Actually, I probably should have moved it a bit closer to the road. So it looked better, but. President, as you know, it is your will alone that keeps Tropico together. Without you, the entire island would crumble to dust and be lost forever. You can say that again. Perhaps it is time to consider adding another member to your dynasty or dynasty. I wonder what way you guys prefer to say it. I guess it's dynasty. But just to be on the safe side, I've done some research and discovered that you have around 61 cousins. We'll need some sort of a test to narrow that number down a bit. Do you have any ideas? Arm wrestling, singing, synchronized swimming competition. I don't need a successor, I will live forever. I sat with three other members of the research team. Suddenly, it dawned on us. We're four men. You get it? Four men? <laughs> Incidentally, we also discovered bad puns. No. Oh. Manager skills for production buildings are unlocked. All right. Let's get out of here. Let's check out our research. Um, okay. I don't think I really want a military fort. So we need two more techs. So I need to learn something here. Let's go with ranch upgrades. So we'll at least be able to feed our people. I've got to hit that 15,000. And I really need to figure out how we can uh, explore a little bit more. Listen very carefully. I shall say this only once. I've learned that a secret weapon that is crucial. All right. A new library, you say. That's kind of weird, but... You know what, let's check out the other mission. His Majesty personally inspected several reports from your... Have two upgraded plantations, so... How can we upgrade it? Change crop? Oh wow, sugar cane is cherished among tropicans. I'll give you a brief overview, here we go. We might be able to upgrade it here, nope. What about the one that's already been built? Doesn't have a manager, here we go. All right, we have to click on higher. Okay. So we're figuring that out. So you can have different managers to help you out. Let's go with Magnate. Oh, it doesn't really help out. Let's go with Mentor. All right. So they will have different abilities and stuff. Uh, okay, we've got the 15,000 that we've needed. His Majesty personally inspected several... question is, how do I unlock this? Get the farm upgrades. Oh, here we go. That wasn't that hard to find now, was it? 
I must have went over it. His Royal Majesty has instructed me to present you with this letter of commendation for your achievements in the name of the Empire. Empire. All right, uh, we'll go with another treasury subsidy for some more moolah. Let's go over. We can't Love declare independence. Shadow. So, I guess new library it is. Gotta remember where everything is placed though, it's a little bit difficult. In between the tavern. So you can uh, read those nasty, boring books about tropic and history after you've uh, been drunk blind, which is probably great fun, I'd imagine. <laughs> Alright. So we've uh, built the new library, or it is being built. Uh, now, what we really need to do, though, is explore. And the game doesn't really tell us how to do that. How do we see... We just discovered the number of times you need to get hit by a plank to actually discover something. It is around seven, depending on the plank in question. We call this the plank constant. <laughs> I am sure it will become very important one day. I'm sure it will be. I am afraid that your colony is still doing rather poorly compared to your neighbors, Puerto Coco and Ila Rojo. His Majesty is not pleased. I'll just pay him. He's got more than enough money. There's a ship coming in very soon as well, so we're expecting to get a lot of money from that. Enix, snow free lunch. Costs a fair amount of money. Mardi Gras. There we go. Many people are ready to give their life for their ideals. You must be ready to take lives for yours. You don't agree with me? I will have to take matters into my own hands and show you. The royalists on your island do not support independence and lower your approval. I've arranged for the deaths of several of them. This is an important lesson. Sometimes you have to make sacrifices to achieve your goals. Several royalists have been killed. All right. That's what we like the sound of, killing people. Just to give them that message. How's this library coming along? Very nice. Thanks to your efforts, the revolutionary movement is growing stronger. New trade routes with the smugglers or import a couple more revolutionaries. Oh, and then no one's, no one's working here anymore. Oh, and the libraries give us research points, so now there's an even better use for them. Construction of His Majesty's underwater palace has begun. The crown requires a great many tons of your crops to help pay for this massive project. All right. He wants 10,000 of our cash crops. Your revolutionaries find this number too high and suggest you send only half that amount. Opposing this, the royalists demand that you send double the amount instead. Wow. Send half, no mandate reward, increased revolutionary support. Let's get the increased revolutionary support. And how much do we export at the moment? 1,000, okay. So a fair amount. Also, we're gonna be much more effective now, I guess, because of the fiber fertilization. which is always pretty useful. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, build another farm though, shall we? The sugar one, no less. Um, let's just find the best place for it. Well, that's not really connected to a road though, is it? It's just connected straight to the palace. At least the uh, El Presidente is gonna have a sweet smell when he wakes up in the mornings. Surrounded by sugar. It's gonna be fun times for him. How with money? We're at ten thousand dollars. Someone stole my manuscript and published it under a pseudonym. <laughs> it was an autobiographical story about two men on a mountain who want to form deep male bonds. <laughs> Break back they even mountain. stole the surrealistic chapter where fairies plants under a rainbow. The circumstances behind the theft are very queer. <laughs> now all Tropican men want to work on the ranch and I will never receive any recognition. It all went <laughs> poof. <laughs> Oh wow, how I love this game. All the uh, innuendos and the uh, pop culture Disaster. references. The revolutionaries are demanding that you insult the king. Let's insult the king, damn straight we will. 
The best insult we could come up with was to name one of the most stupid and boring animals in Tropico after the king. <laughs> Our revolutionaries are not the brightest candles in the night, but it's still a valid insult according to the Book of Etiquette. Name the local anteater. Name the potu after the king. The king is not pleased to hear that you are naming an animal that grotesque after him. I soften him up by saying how high an honour it is. Uh, but he still wants you punished. Okay, good luck with punishing me. Oh, we're so close to the 5,000. Get it? Yes. The sea nice. is too crowded. It is full of lost cities, rich American industrialists, and sleeping alien gods. His Majesty has no desire to mingle with such things. Construction on the underwater palace has been stopped. From now on, you will receive fewer, if any, options to extend your mandate. His Majesty will grant you one of these rewards for your service to the Crown. Oh. Yeah, let's go get six more months. Because I don't know how long this Things will last. Things do not look well for you, old chap. His Majesty is extremely displeased with you and has decided to punish you as an example to the other colonies. Well, good luck with punishing me. I say, we've still got a lot of money. The royal punishment meant for you was so extreme, I can't even ever bear to put in words, but I managed to soften it a bit. Okay, um, the problem here is that we're not connected to a rope. Um, yes, this is quite the problem. There's not much I'm going to be able to do about this apart from demolishing it, really. Ah, oh, so it works exactly the same way as it did in Tropico 4. It just goes boom. Uh, let's go research something. Uh, we've got newspapers, um, the census, urban... Oh, no, let's go get the constitution. That's for certain. Okay, we'll get them. Uh, because, let's see... Right, next up is World Wars, so we must be very close to finishing this mission. Um, what is it that I need to do? I think we're waiting for another mission, or... My good fellow, I have it from a... We just need to explore more of the islands, which, embarrassingly enough, I really don't know how to do. So, I think I'll have to be back. <laughs> i have to have a closer look at how we do that. Let's see. There's got to be something here that we can do... Lighthouses give us additional trade offers. Or militaries engages enemy soldiers in its vicinity. Alright, well. Let's see what's happening. If there is anything happening here. Doesn't seem like there is. There's a ship coming. Alright, there it is. I heard that little ding. And that ding always means that there's ships coming. We're going to be making even more money. Oh, here we go. What's all this about? I guess that was an auto save. I can only assume. Uh, let's go build something here then. I built a mansion right on over here. There we go. Hopefully it's facing the right way. I'm not quite sure if it is. that on high construction priority and hopefully that counts as exploration like I don't know how we explore it's something I would love to maybe okay here we go I got an idea we are one step closer to developing the uh, where is El Presidente there's a way that you can select him no doubt entertain there it is. to find out where he is. I think he's in his building, isn't he? Oh no. I hold you accountable. The voice in my head. No rest for the presidente. There's gotta be some way that we can move him about. <laughs> oh god, this is annoying. No rest for the presidente. Presidente, presidente. 
What about maybe there's something in the options that'll tell us what to do? No, not really. Um, what is explore? <laughs> if there is a button for it. Doesn't seem like there is. Oh, no. Well, let's see. E. No. We, the leaders of the Tropican nation, in our desire to put into words the will of the Tropican people to follow and obey the laws of the state and maintain the traditional universal tropic. All right. So we've got an uh, constitution. I'll be right Alrighty, back. we're back and I finally figured out what it is that I need to do. Embarrassingly enough, you need to click on the explore button. And yes, I did complete the tutorial now because I wanted to figure it out. So what we do, click on that. And then to get rid of the fog of war, what I'd recommend is clicking the furthest you want possible because you pay $1,000 no matter how far this little group goes of busty lycra clad women, whatever the hell they're wearing. See if we can actually click on it. For the fatherland, awaiting orders. Viva el president! The soldier who he would never stop. <laughs> I love listening to all the dialogue they have. It's uh, quite marvelous, really. Uh, so, uh, it costs a thousand dollars to explore wherever you want to explore. So I'd recommend just clicking as far away as you can, and they'll just pretty much go in a straight line, or at least they'll try to. Um, thankfully, I figured out how to do that. We've got one more tech to research. Alright, and that's going to be it, isn't it? Once we've got them two. Wait, was I already researching them? Who knows? Let's just keep at it though. And uh, now, any moment now, we should see. Here we go. The fog of war is starting to disappear. Or well, the fog. It's not really fog of war because there's no real enemies. But you guys get my drift. In the meantime though, we're still exporting quite a little bit, trying to make our way through the world. At least uh, we have a much better idea of how to do things and what to do now, and not embarrass ourselves stupidly on camera, or at least while I'm recording. So, in the meantime though, let's have a look at what's happening in over here. Not much, I think, what I'll do, well, no, not a construction office, but a Teamsters office, would help us out greatly. It's pretty close to where all the people live as well and they'll help us out uh, with moving the gold from the mines so here we go there was gold in those mountains jolly good old chap i believe it's only fair that i get a piece of the pie having supplied the information and all that right let's get down to it i believe that 10 percent should do the job that's standard for a mining claim, I believe. Do me this little favor, and I'll say a good few things about you to Her Majesty. Um, Tropico will get all the gold. Thank you very much. Gives us increased revolutionary support. And uh, we gave the middle finger to the imperialist English. Presidente, after suffering a thousand paper cuts, we have invented paper. <laughs> it has print on it where there will be a summary of important affairs, interviews with important tropicans, and a page with political editorials. This will give a voice to every tropican. Also, going to the little presidente's room will be much more comfortable from now on. All right. <laughs> going to the little presidente's room. By that, I think it means the throne. Thanks to your efforts, the revolutionary movement is growing stronger. All right. Let's keep on importing those revolutionaries. So I can get up to that 50% approval rating, which is mighty important. Uh, in the meantime though, what I'm going to have to do is get raw resources, build a mine here, and build another mine here. Now we'll connect them all up to roads. Alright, we can't build through the oil, obviously. Not really much of a surprise, really. And connect it up like that. There we go. We've already built the Teamsters office, and wow, it's already filled up. And that's pretty good. And that means uh, we should be able to fill up these mines pretty easily as well. You guys, hurry up. I always think that high construction priority means that the workers will be more motivated to go there. It's just if you're building like two things and you need to have a hierarchy of what you want to build. Is it just place it 
it's on top of the water. Doesn't really do much else. Uh, but hopefully, uh, guys, here we go. They're coming in over here. There's three. Guess one of the guys left his materials there. There's two of them building. I like how they get their carts out of nothing. It's a pretty cool looking mine though. It's even got its own sound effects and everything. We have invented red tape. It goes well with everything and there is no limit to this stuff. People are going crazy over it. Lines are forming to get more of it. It almost seems like it is trying to grow bigger and bigger all on its own. <laughs> all right. Pretty good. Pretty typical of red tape, really. I like how these guys are um, from Bulgaria, the ones that made it. But they're so well on top of everything. I guess they hired like riders and all that, obviously. But it's a very, very well created game with lots of uh, innuendos and just pop culture references and just things that you wouldn't really think a foreign, non Western uh, group of people would really understand. But they have a good grasp of everything, though these guys that hey wants games I think it was called the studio that developed this they've been making the Chocto games I think since the original one which is pretty impressive as well Tropico itself has given us a way to gain our independence I am talking about gold Mother Earth will gladly sacrifice her precious gifts for our freedom sounds mighty good Evita Vasquez got to export 4,000 gold which shouldn't be all that difficult I like the water textures though, they look very nice. Very fancy schmancy. Congratulations, Governor. We are... want a newspaper. I'll get right on top of that. I don't even want to listen to your gibberish. I'm just going to build it right away. Right there. How are our mines doing? Well, that one's not even built. This one's got three people, which is good. Alright, and then we can choose how much we pay people. Okay, so fifty-one dollars for. Hmm. I guess the manager gets a bit more. Uh, let's get a magnet here. Hire him. His most gracious Majesty has dispatched your replacement, but he somehow managed to get himself kidnapped by vicious pirates along the way. I had nothing to do with it. Nothing they can prove, at least. <laughs> you have to stay on for another year, but blind luck won't save you next time. Work hard and your mandate will be extended again. Fail and you won't remain governor of this island for long. Alright, I'm not too worried though. We should be on top of things, although we only had like five months left of our original term before that unfortunate accident had happened. Now let's maybe give the people a mansion or so. I'm sure they'd like that, so let's go to residential. Which way is the entrance? This is the entrance, obviously. Um, actually, I'll place it over here because I want to get rid of the shacks. Have we built that second mine yet? Yes, very nice. We've actually got a lot of people here. We've got no managers available. Um, but am I able to import managers or not? No. I don't think you are. We can just invite foreign workers, but these are just plebs. They're very uneducated and they, uh, they're not really good at anything. Obviously, they're working in a mine, so... It's basic stuff in this game. What else can we research? Alright. The trigger. Presidente, I'm shaking. You're shaking. Everyone is shaking. It appears that there is a small earthquake occurring on the island. Let's hope it doesn't wreck anything important. Down goes everything. The earthquake is over. We made it. I am now going to rethink my life and the choices I have <laughs> made. Done. Now, let's evaluate <laughs> the damage. All right. The International Community Center's $1,500 in aid. So, clearly this is very similar to what we used to. Witness the power of this fully armed and operational revolutionary weapon. Let's 
keep on getting increased revolutionary support. I'll keep on rebuilding everything. Um, repair that. All right. We are very close to losing though. We're only 11 months, so. But we're very close to winning as well. 47%. I just need to export that gold. How much should we get then? Not much. It's only 1,064. Great news! We found out how to use the muskets the crown sent us. Apparently, all you have to do is pull the trigger. Oh, we actually won. Our research was seriously hindered until we discovered you should not look into the barrel when pulling the trigger. <laughs> we lost a lot of good men that way. <laughs> and we're at 51% approval President rating now. Whoa, <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> Governor, the <laughs> island is ripe for revolution. Your approval rating is high enough so that you can proclaim independence from the crown and we can finally be free from their stupid demands. You can proclaim independence. We can, but do I want to? Uh, especially, I don't even know how to do that. We should be able... To, no, we can't do it in research, though, can we? No. Why would you be able to do it from research? It is. Um, there's no independence one here. Actually, wait, there's a couple of edicts. Alright, World Wars. Okay. Different time errors and all. You got your standard ones, tax cuts and military drills. Surprise Mardi Gras is here. Oh, this is general though. And that's why it's there. The stock standard ones. Presidente. Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> Governor. All right. The island is... His right. Majesty is most amused by your declaration of independence. He's currently not very interested in your little island anyway. If you pay to the Empire for the losses he has incurred from you, you'll be allowed to be independent. Otherwise, the Royal Forces will come for a small visit. Um, I'm definitely going to buy my freedom. World Wars, so we've unlocked that. Advanced industry becomes available. Rebels may appear to oppose your regime. And I guess the uh, game has well and truly begun. But we can also have our constitution. So voting rights, wealthy citizens can vote. Affect fewer voters based on reactionary wealth discrimination. So <laughs> more of the 1%. Religion and state, secular state. So increase liberty, happiness, and no education for soldiers. All citizens of Tropico are considered soldiers and owe themselves to the defense of the nation. The state enlists citizens to conscription to which they oblige sub uh, con Conscripts are considered ipso facto willing to participate in all operations conveyed by the state. I like the sound of that, so we don't need to educate our military. We're able to set up a military force pretty quickly. Alright, armed forces, militia. High school soldiers, additional militia squads raised in battles. No, okay, I already got that though. So how can we get that twice? Hmm. I'll just go with professional army. Wait, maybe I'm just... It seems like I'm just going around in circles, doesn't it? Oh, wait. What the hell is happening? Constitution, right? We want the Constitution. Uh, which one do I want? Conscription. I want Conscription, damn it. What the hell is happening? I just click that. Presidente. And hope Next for the best. time you amend our constitution, could you please add in a bit where everyone is obliged to spend at least half their salary at the Jolly Roger? That would be a progressive look. Welcome, brother. Today, you and your family join a select few who have taken upon themselves the burden of governing the world. Viva la independencia tropical! Oh, shut up, lady. No more shall we Let wear me talk the shackles over you. of European oppression. From now on, we shall wear nothing but our own Tropican shackles. Viva el Presidente! Okay. So, uh, name your dynasty. Let's name it Arsenal Robert. Alright. Confirm that. 
and I think we'll be going into another menu where we'll be able to choose our next place of um well of owning just some random noobs anyways I hope you guys have enjoyed that very first mission in the campaign it was quite the challenge really it was really enjoyable though hopefully you are liking all the videos that we are going to be pumping out of Tropico 5 till next time though guys I'll see you later